guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. Today we're finally doing the much requested store review for Uniqlo. It's right behind me. Right there. Thumbnail. So let me show you how big this place is. <clears throat> so we actually start from this side, go all around. This is all the store, but wait, don't think that this is it. Because this literally takes up I'm thinking 45% of this 7th floor, I don't know what floor this is, yeah, 7th floor of the Beverly Center. So this store is really huge. And everything about this store reminds me of like Tokyo, I've never been there. Shout out to Japan, anyone from Japan watching, shout out to you, we're at your store, Uniqlo. I kind of compare this place to like the Top Man or H&M of Japan. I feel like it's a little bit better quality than H&M, but correct me if I'm wrong, what Uniqlo is equivalent to. I haven't been there for a while, so I'm excited to check out what's new, try on some new stuff, review the store for you guys, so let's get going. Price-wise, it ranges from H&M prices to Top Man prices. Not too expensive, not too cheap, so Uniqlo. Look at this wool cashmere Chesterfield coat for $150. Look how beautiful this is. I'm gonna try it on right now. This is an extra small in this. Oh my god. I think I might have to buy this. This fits me perfectly. What do you guys think? Or do I need a small size in it? I feel like it fits perfect actually. Here it is in this kind of like charcoal color. Saying I wanted some sweatpants like this, so I'm gonna try these out. One thing that Uniqlo's really like famous for, I guess, are these like ultra light down parkas. So they have down, which is geese, I think, for geese. So apparently, this is some exclusive cotton that they have, Supima cotton. Let me know if you've had experience with it, but I want to try out just one of their white shirts and see what the Supima cotton is. As you guys are seeing right here, this is like their undergarments area and um, it's pretty cool actually. There's so many stuff that you can choose from, package deals, 3 for 10, like 3 for 12 and the quality is pretty good so check this out. They have a huge selection of this stuff. I usually get their, um, they have these, which is like these briefs that is in this like Henley waffle knit material. You think it might be weird, but it feels really good, really comfortable. So these are usually like three or two for ten dollars. And as you guys can see, different patterns. So it kind of makes your underwear drawer a little bit more exciting. Okay, guys, in the fitting room right now. I just needed to say before I like talk about anything, Uniqlo customer service is amazing. The fitting room people are so nice. I, I was holding this big of clothes and then you know some places you have to like count and they're like count how many you have they counted for me took me to their own so thank you so much for Uniqlo treating me very nicely so um a little brief backstory I guess not backstory but a little bit more information about Uniqlo as I said it's a Japanese brand everything like from the hangers to how everything is presented feels really good quality. It's a really nice experience shopping here. Now I didn't pick up much pieces because Uniqlo style isn't really like something that I can like wear or like from day to day. I would describe it more as like kind of like J. Crew, very like office, kind of like hip, I don't know, very a little bit more formal, business casual. It has a lot of options if you work in like an office setting and you have to wear dress shirts, dress pants and khakis all the time. So really affordable, really good quality dress shirts. Um, their technology is really good because it's obviously Japanese brand. So their clothing a lot of the time has like sweat resistance or like water resistance, so things like that. But I picked up stuff that I would actually like and wear from here. So let me show you guys what I picked up. 
So one thing about Uniqlo is about their pants actually. Pants, jeans, anything pants-wise, they all come in a size 34, most of them. And they offer free hemming, so they're longer and then they hem it and alter it to your body for free. Um, as it says right here, so you need a hem, free alteration, normal stitch free, if you want a blind stitch, five dollars. And um, it's not, I think it's ready same day unless they're busy, so you have to go back, shop around, or like go back, come back another day. But that's a really cool thing that they have that they allow to alter your clothing. So anyways, I got some jeans. This is supposed to be Japanese selvage denim, so one of the best quality. It feels really nice, and I got this really dark wash. This flannel feels really soft and nice, and it's a green color, which I thought was really interesting. I've always wanted a pair of charcoal joggers, so I wanted to test out what their joggers were like. So pricing actually, so the joggers are 30. The flannel shirt is, let's see how much this flannel is. Flannel, how much are you? Uh, oh, here you are. So the flannel shirt is $30 as well. So as you guys can see, kind of like top men pricing, H&M pricing, and the jeans are $50, which I think with the free alteration service, I think it's worth it because you'll get jeans that are perfectly fit to your body. So think about that. I'm going to try it out. I haven't really tried out their jeans, and we'll review how they fit. They don't really have that, like, skinny fit, really, really skinny fit. So they have straight fit, relaxed fit, and then slim fit, which I got the slim fit because, you know. So yeah, joggers. Um, then I got this really cool wool cashmere v-neck sweater. I thought this looked really nice. This striped shirt, this is part of their washed collection. So they have a collection called the washed collection, which everything apparently is washed, so it doesn't shrink. And then, um, one cool thing about Uniqlo is a lot of the times they collaborate with really cool artists and so they come out with t-shirts and this one is the art of calligraphy. I thought it was really nice. It had Japanese font on it and the material of the shirt was cool. This was only this is only five dollars. And then also, as you guys saw, their t-shirts they're marketing as the Pima cotton, which is apparently the super exclusive cotton. This feels really soft. It's like oh they like it, but I'm gonna try it and see how this stuff fits. So we are in the fitting room. Let me see. After the day, I'm wearing this Marilyn Manson shirt that I distressed and cut off. I also added these like little fabric thingies. Forever 21 jeans that I also distressed myself. I added these two slits to it, and then these um, what's this color? Camel colored Chelsea boots. Okay, so. Here is this striped shirt. I love it with these jeans and my shoes because they kind of match. Hold on for one second. Look who's calling me. Hello. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Um, I haven't noticed. Oh, they are. So as I was saying, here we have this outfit. I really love how this looks. Loving the stripe and this kind of camel color. And I really like this piece actually. This might be something I'll pick up. Okay, guys, so I'm trying on um, these things. I just wanted to show you beforehand though how these jeans fit. They, they look really nice. They stack really nice because they're really good quality denim. But Obviously they're a size 34, so these would need to be altered. I'm kind of like wanting to buy these and then have them altered to see how the service works, but I kind of like that it has this like ribbon when you fold it up. Okay, so I'm pretty ups- I actually like this style on me. You guys always say wear more fitted clothing. Well, here's fitted clothing for you guys. I don't want my necklace out though. But I really love the color of this plaid shirt. Really great quality, sits really nice. And I'm really obsessed with these jeans. I have a pair of jeans like this or else I would have bought them. But let me show you guys. So 
I am loving. So what I'm noticing is the quality is really good. The last store review was Gap. This is like kind of the same quality. It feels so soft. I love good quality clothing, guys. I worn so much bad quality stuff that like when I once you go good quality you can't go back really but obviously we all can't afford that so I understand that but here's a little different different take okay focus 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 so here's a little different take on the same outfit kind of make it more street style you could get it oversized this one like or two or three sizes bigger but I love how this looks with this Marilyn Matson shirt. Okay, and this is that cashmere wool v-neck sweater. It's making my nose itch a little bit, so I probably wouldn't be able to buy this because I might be allergic to wool, which is not pretty good. But again, really great piece, really soft, really nice. I love how the shoes match, the, the carpet matches the drapes. No, I'm just kidding. Here's a Japanese shirt. I really like how this looks with these jeans. These are my favorite types of jeans. I love the Japanese font with this. Really artistic piece. Little hints of red. Only $5 too. These shirts always go on sale though, so I wouldn't recommend buying them full price, but really liking this. Okay, so here are the joggers. I'm not a fan of these. They don't fit really flattering on me. I like joggers that are a little bit more like, like they should fit like this, you know? Like slim around the legs so there's not much fit to these unless you kind of like put them up but other than that I loved all the other pieces I forgot to mention this is a hundred percent cashmere okay guys I hope you enjoyed this Uniqlo store review I have a new kind of like respect for Uniqlo now because I kind of did a collective try of a few variety of their pieces I like this song but anyways um I like Uniqlo, I like the song, I like the store review. Let me know if you liked it. And let me know what else store reviews to do. A lot of people are asking for Calvin Klein, Diesel, Guess, so I might hit up those depending on which one I'm feeling. But I re recommend for you guys to go into a Uniqlo near you. They're opening a bunch of locations in the United States. So just a matter of going and trying and just experiment with them. I love the pants service. I'll let you guys know if I decide to pick up the pants, if the alteration service is worth it, and all that good stuff. So until next time, peace.